What is going on guys, Joel here back with another video and today we're going to be taking a look and covering iOS 8 Beta 2. Now this was just released by Apple and it's available for registered developers. Now with Beta 2 there wasn't many updates, there's just some simple bug fixes and little tweaks here and there. So we're going to be taking a look at some of the bug fixes and some of the updates available on Beta 2. Now, if you would like to check out what's available on iOS 8, I actually did a overview video that you can check out. I'll leave the links down below if you want to go ahead and watch that video before this or after this. And that way you'll get an idea of what's available on iOS 8. Now, in the beta 2 version, there is a few new things. Uh, first off, the podcast app is now pre-installed with iOS 8. So that means it cannot be deleted. So as you see here, podcast, if you're not familiar with it, it's a application made by Apple where you can download various of podcasts and listen to that. Uh, and now it seems like it's pre-installed. So it seems like Apple is wanting you to download that podcast app, which in my opinion, I'm not a big fan uh, that they do that. I am a fan of the actual podcast app, but as far as you being forced to have it on your device, kind of sucks. But of course, we're still in beta too, so maybe by the final version of iOS 8, they will allow you to have a choice to either have it or not have it. Now checking out the Safari application, there is a few new little tweaks. Now when you go ahead and go into private mode, you now have this new private browsing mode screen as you see here. So it's just a different look when you choose private mode and you're able to simply search the web and all that good stuff and it won't keep a history of if you didn't know what private mode was on Safari. And now also in Safari is you're able to quickly add a site to your bookmarks or to your reading list by simply holding down the bookmark icon as you see right here in Safari. Now checking out the messages application, now the voice and camera icons aren't blue anymore, they're actually gray, nothing really effective, but that is something new in iMessage. Also something that I noticed in the settings is that the little arrows are not on the settings anymore. So as you see here, on the right side, normally we actually had arrows uh, pointing to saying that there's more options. In my opinion, it makes it look cleaner. Now while we're in the settings, there is also a new home data menu under the settings if you go into the privacy settings. And as you see here, it'll list the apps that access your home data via home kit. Now going into the photos application, it's gonna actually have a new screen here that says iCloud photos and it's gonna ask you if you wanna use your iCloud photos. And also something else that I've noticed in iOS 8 beta 2 was in the album section in photos. Uh, it now has a separate album for burst, slow-mos and time-lapse. Now I'm using an iPod touch for this video so I'm not gonna have any slow-mo videos or slow-mo albums. Uh, but in the time lapse and burst shot and also things like that. Now if we go back into the settings and go into general, we go to the accessibility option and we turn on assistive touch, you are now able to have control center on assistive touch. So you see here we get the new little icon at the very bottom uh, once we open up our assistive touch and we're able to activate control center straight from assistive touch. So that is pretty cool. That's a new little feature added to beta two is you're able to now uh, access control center from assistive touch. Now we've taken a look at the notifications in our settings. There's actually a new allow notification settings that's available for each application, uh, which works as a sort of a global mute to let users either mute notifications from an app on an individual basis. So instead of like how we used to have it, uh, there was only an option to disallow apps from showing in notifications in your notification center, but now you have the option to completely turn off notifications uh, for that certain application. Now this next feature is actually something I did not uh, cover in my iOS 8 overview, and that was the battery usage. With iOS 8, you're able to see the battery usage of each application, uh, also on your home screen, lock screen, and things like that. But with iOS 8 Beta 2, if you are using a cellular device, it will now show you how much battery your phone has been using when no coverage was available. Uh, but unfortunately, I can't show you that because it is actually on my iPod Touch. Now, as far as iOS 8 Beta 2 on the iPad, actually the iPad now has QuickType keyboard suggestions uh, available. So now you're able to quickly type uh, using the new QuickType 
keyboard feature that that iOS 8 features now because in beta 1 it was only available on the iPhone and iPod touch but now you're able to use it on the iPad and this is on the iPad mini 2 with retina display but as far as features tweaks and bug fixes those are going to be some of the bug fixes let me know in the comment section below if you found some more bug fixes or new features but other than that that's going to wrap it up for this video go ahead and hit that like button if you did enjoy this video it not only helps me but it supports the channel as well and lets me know that you are enjoying in the videos also if you're not following me on any of my social networks like twitter facebook google plus or instagram all of my links are down below and if you want to go ahead and contact me the quickest way is actually through twitter so go ahead and follow me on twitter and if you feel like being awesome go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of my future coverage on ios 8 on future betas and all that good stuff and like i said in the beginning of the video if you want to go ahead and check out ios 8 beta one and check out like all the new features that's available uh, i'll leave a link down below in the description but other than that guys that's gonna be it for this video appreciate all of you for watching and i'll catch you all on the next one all right peace